What should happen to an Albuquerque police officer who accidentally fired his gun, shooting an innocent man in the back? According to the chief, nothing. Let's get to News 13's Marissa Lucero. Dean, the citizens group that looks into police shootings and use of force cases recommended the officer be suspended for 11 days. The chief was having none of that. One male in apartment, uh, the one below the floor, it looks like he's got blood on his neck. I can't see what's wrong. He's got blood? Oh my gosh. Now, it was back in December of 2014. Officer Thomas Nottas was climbing through a broken window in an apartment near East Central looking for a burglar. He stumbled, firing off a bullet through the floor, hitting a dad in the upper back in the apartment down below. The Civilian Police Oversight Agency investigated and the executive director, director recommended an 88-hour suspension for Officer Nottas, primarily for having his finger on the trigger without a target or any intention to shoot. But News 13 has learned APD Chief Gordon Eden overruled that this month, opting for a written reprimand instead, saying while he agrees the officer violated that trigger policy, he has not shown a pattern of problems with his gun in the past. Now, the Civilian Police Oversight Agency, or CPOA, can not appeal the chief's final decision on punishment. Back to you. All right, Marissa, thank you. Documents from the CPOA show another Albuquerque police officer recently received a verbal reprimand for accidentally firing his gun. He was checking his gun at home when he fired a shot through his kitchen window and into his neighbor's house. In that case, no one was hurt.